Hey guys, I'm Monica and I'm an internal medicine doctor and today I'm going to be doing a short video on how to make a presentation for your team on inpatient medicine. So you're always told that to go the extra mile, you have to do a presentation for your team. But what topic do you do and what are the good features of a good presentation? Well, I'm about to tell you so stick around. So rule number one is to keep it short. Keep it short, I'm talking like five to 10 minutes. Residents, interns, and attendings have very short attention spans. In fact, I think the attention span gets shorter and shorter as you get older. Hit only the key points. Rule number two, be organized, no rambling. And rule number three, no handouts. It's a waste of paper. I promise you that you're gonna work hard on this beautiful handout and it's gonna end up in the trash. Now let's go into the different types of presentations. So the two major types of presentations that you'll see are one, topic presentations, and two, presentations on research studies. So let's first talk about topic presentations. Tip number one, comment below if you're a chalk talk person or a slideshow person. I'll go first. Chalk talks are the best. They totally rule, they are the most impressive because if you think about it, you really have to know everything off the top of your head to be able to do a good chalk talk. So yes, they do take a lot of upfront preparation because you have to memorize the material and you have to plan out what you're gonna draw on the board, but I promise you it will pay dividends. Tip number two, design your talk after an illness script. So what's an illness script? An illness script is a summary of all the key features of a disease, including the epidemiology and the clinical presentation, which includes symptoms, signs, lab findings, and imaging findings that are typical for that disease. Now, it's really good to actually choose one or two pieces of that so that you can still fit within that five to 10 minute duration. So here's an example of an illness script by the Clinical Problem Solvers. Check out their website because it's really an amazing resource. In fact, you could probably memorize this illness script or pieces of it to use as your presentation, giving credit where credit is due, of course. Tip number three teach practical tips that residents and interns can use in their day-to-day -day practice. Think algorithms, workup, and treatment. Now you're probably thinking, uh, hello, I'm a medical student. How can I possibly have anything to teach residents and interns? Well, hello back to you because you have access to resources such as up to date. And this is exactly what the residents and interns will use to look up what to do in a given clinical situation. So let's say you're working up a patient for adrenal insufficiency. You need to know what labs to order, what diagnostic tests to send. And then what about treatment? Okay, sure, steroids, but which steroids? What medication, what dosage? These are the details that residents and interns need in order to actually do their job. So residents and interns will appreciate it if you give them concrete tips like what orders do I put in? Now, I absolutely love pathophysiology. I think it's super cool, super interesting, but if you've noticed, I haven't done a ton of videos on it because I don't feel like there's as much interest out there and it can easily get pretty boring if you're rambling on about pathophysiology. But if you feel like your team would be interested in that, like you have a super academic team who loves talking about pathophysiology, go for it, draw those diagrams and do a great talk on it. But if not, I feel like the practical tips are the way to go. And the next category is research studies. So it's very common to do a talk on a research study or multiple research studies. So if you're going to do this, what I would do is I would use a resource like the Journal Club app or the evidence. So Journal Club app. So I mentioned this in my top 10 apps for doctors video. So feel free to check that out after you finish this video. But basically Journal Club is an app that has bullet point summaries of pretty much every landmark study and it's sorted by specialty and sorted by topic. And they're really good about staying up to date as well. But basically a huge plus of Journal Club is that they have a little section for criticisms. So they don't just summarize the study, they actually include bullet points of criticisms because I feel like the hardest part of analyzing a research paper is actually to come up with criticisms of it. And so this will give you a really great jump start. The next resource I mentioned is the evidence. So I know that you guys probably haven't heard of it because it's something that my husband actually came up with. And so I'm giving it a quick plug here because I genuinely think that it's really, really helpful. So the evidence is a newsletter that goes out every week or every other week. And each newsletter summarizes multiple different studies. So not just one study, summarizes multiple different studies that all address the same clinical question. So it talks about what conclusions we can draw if we take 
key findings from these multiple studies and put them together. And another cool feature is that at the bottom there is an expert opinion. So there's an attending from our institution who writes a summary of how he or she uses the research findings in his or her practice. Now we started putting these newsletters online, so you can check it out at theevidenceim.com. And it'd be a pretty cool presentation, just take one of those articles and use it in the chalk talk. So tip number two for research study presentations is to keep it short and stick to bullet points just like you would for a topic presentation. And tip number three, always relate the research back to your patient. So what about the patient inspire you to look into this research study? Does your patient meet all the characteristics of the patient population that that research study studied? Did the researchers do any subgroup analyses that meet the patient's characteristics? These are examples of questions that you should know the answer to when you're giving your presentation. So in summary, key tips for presentations. One, choose a narrow topic or research study. Two, keep it short, so five to 10 minutes max. Three, include practical tips. And four, do a chalk talk to be the most impressive. So that's it guys. Thanks so much for watching and please subscribe for more content on how to succeed in medical school. Bye guys.